Body fat that us humans have is different to the blobber seen in marine mammals. But whether you are human or a marine mammal, fat cells are called adipocytes or adipose cells and exist within adipose tissue, which is a specialised connective tissue which also consists of macrophages, T cells, collagen fibres, nerves and capillaries. In humans there are two types of adipose tissue. White adipose tissue, which contains white adipose cells and is mainly found in adults, and brown adipose tissue, which contains brown adipose cells and are mainly found in newborns. Recently, beige adipose tissues have been discovered, which are dispersed within white adipose tissue. The main function of white adipose cells is to store fat in the form of triglycerides, but they also have other functions, such as secreting hormones and growth factors. In humans, adipose tissue is stored in two main areas. This is a subcutaneous fat, which is embedded in the connective tissue under the skin and provides insulation from heat and cold. And visceral fat, which is stored in the abdominal cavity and so surrounds a number of organs, such as the liver and pancreas. Too much of this fat has been linked to type 2 diabetes and a predisposition to certain cancers. Blubber, found in marine mammals, is also composed of adipose tissue, but it contains more blood capillaries and is only found immediately beneath the surface of the skin. It covers all of the animal except its fins and flukes. Blubber has a number of functions, but most widely known being insulation, this is of particular importance to those animals that live in the cold Arctic and Antarctic waters. Blubber contains many more blood vessels than does fat, and they constrict to reduce the flow of blood to the surface and so help prevent heat loss. It can also form very thick layers. In right whales it has been found to be up to a foot thick. Energy is stored in blubber in the form of fat and proteins. The animals can use these when food is scarce, such as on long migrations that many whales undertake from feeding grounds to their breeding grounds. Blubber is less dense than seawater, so it also helps whales to float and it allows for a smooth external surface which reduces hydrodynamic drag. So there you have it, the difference between fat and blubber.